All right, guys, welcome back. Looks like this is going to be hopefully the last part of my solar build. What we're going to be doing today is completing the solar rack. See, I got her painted. Got both sides up there right now. I think it come out great. I picked up my uh, aluminum square tubing. I got to weld that up today and build the actual frame that the panels are going to sit on. The panels are going to sit up there and they're going to be, like I said before, on actuated motors and uh, they'll be able to tilt up. That's the plan. We're going to get started. Let me show you inside here. It's a little windy out here today. And so there it is. Got everything installed, running great. Did a few stress tests on it, performed flawlessly. Did really, really well. So I got to finish all that. Everything's working great with the... Uh, 12 volt lithium battery and a DC to DC charger, keeping it maintained. Couldn't ask for better than that. So far, so good. So uh, let me get set up here and uh, we'll get started. We'll get to building this rack. All right, we are up here on the roof, trying to square everything up and it is incredibly hard. <laughs> These birds, man, because they want to be part of the video. I'm trying to square everything up on this roof, get my rack, the top of my rack squared. The bottom is squared perfect, but the top where the rack comes, you know, all the welds pulled. So I'm getting 94, 94 and a half. So I've got ratchet straps on it, trying to get it pulled to where I want it. I think I've got it within a quarter of an inch. I think that's gonna work for me. So my plan is to make the frame 94 inches wide and it's gonna have to be, I believe, 160 something inches long. We'll build the frame and I got this angle. It's gonna be welded to the top right here. This will be welded to the top. And that's gonna be with the, when the frame actuates up, that's the track it's gonna fall back in. That's gonna hopefully keep everything centered. Hoping to get everything put together today, have a little proof of concept. My actuators are supposed to arrive today. My aluminum clips that are gonna, I'm gonna weld to the frame. That's gonna hold the solar panels up. They should be here today. So providing everything gets here today, you know Amazon, she should be uh, ready to go. There it is. The one thing I do hate about this camper is that damn flat roof. It likes to hold water. Everything's gonna be sealed up nice. All this is gonna be dicord and hopefully I won't, won't have any leaks, but uh, leaks are just about impossible to stop on these campers. They are a constant, constant upkeep. I mean, you gotta stay on top of it. It's like right now I got a little leak on the air conditioner. I gotta get in there and get that fixed. Let's get started. All right, what we're gonna do here first is uh, I got 94 inches wide is what my second part of the frame is gonna be. The way I do it, take my square, you take your mill edge here, this edge first, you just mark it for a 45. Put your square up, end to end, that's your, gonna be your first cut. That's what I'm gonna do is frame it up to be 45 corners. And then you pull off the top, the leading edge of your 45, the high point is what I call it. We're gonna mark our 94, right there, 94 inches. Man, that wind is kicking today. Then you wanna take your 45 again, hold your edge there, and you wanna come back into your frame with it. So your high point stays at 94, which is the length you need. Give her a mark. That's where my first two cuts will be. And then we'll mirror that, make another one. We got our piece up here now. You set your miter saw to 45. Turn it whichever way you want. We make our other cut, we'll switch it. And I do have a carbide blade on here. Do not use your regular table saw blade. Cutting aluminum. Line her up. There's our first 45 cut. So now we're gonna switch it around. We're gonna switch our table saw, our miter saw around here to the other 45 mark. There we go, easy peasy. Set up, hold our piece right about there. First piece ready, posing 45 cuts. That's our 94 inches. All right, all we gotta do is make one more of them and make our runners, get them squared up and get them welded. All right, guys, I'm back. Well, we had a little delay in filming. We had some really cold weather. We got about nine inches of snow in Southern Oklahoma. And the guy showed up to build my shop. So we got the shop built. The solar rack is done. Everything has worked out flawlessly. I mean, I'm telling you, and it like to whoop my butt, trying to figure out the geometry of the dang actuators, man. As you know, the first actuators I had weren't strong enough. The second set came in and the snow delayed the delivery of them. These are plenty strong enough. And it was twisting my rack and oh, I had to put supports in and stabilize it and just try to figure it all out. Let's show you how she works. There she is. It's not gonna win any races. All right, that is fully extended. I'm really digging it. So that's what she looks like. Got to do a little painting yet. I got all my wires all sorted out. Well, there you have it. Linear actuated solar rack on a Lance truck camper. Pretty proud of it. All right, here we go. What's supposed to be happening? We got power, power.
I think it's a success. We've got green lights, everything is good. All of our AC plugs are working, air conditioners on, microwaves on. We're good. Now the next thing for me to do is to start my programming. That's gonna be a whole nother task in itself. I gotta read up on a lot of that. So this is DIY, buddy. Learn as I go. Awesome, I'm pretty excited. All right, now for the programming. <laughs> good job. All right, we are getting close to wrapping this sucker up, man. This is my platform that goes on top of our, where our couch sits. Our couch will sit on top of this. I'm hinging this so this will give me access to all my equipment that's gonna be located right under this section. So come on, let's go take a look. There you have it. We have got it framed in, plexiglass cover, backlit, and that cover I just showed you is gonna go right on top of here and our couch sits on top of there. So you really did not lose any space in doing this install. And of course, you know, our batteries are on the backside there. But uh, man, I'm so excited about this. All right, so there's the inside. Now, got this cut, got some hinges in it. So now that'll lift up whenever I want to access my equipment on the inside. I'm not locked out from it. So let me go in there and get this put in there. And I'll get the couch thrown in, show you exactly what we're looking like. All right, there it is in there. It'll hinge up. Give me complete access to all my equipment. Only pain in the butt about it's going to be is that I'm going to have to take the futon couch out anytime I need to access it, which is not really terrible. It's it. Just open and close, buddy. It'll have, you know, some screws here just for structural support. There we go. That's what it looks like with the couch in. The box. All that beautiful blue equipment. It beat my expectations. I think it came out wonderful. And uh, I've got to put the flooring little strip of flooring back in there cut that put it in so clean up finish the box that covers my batteries up secure them good my actuators hopefully ought to be here today get them suckers put on and wrap this little job up and uh, get ready for quartzite february 12th we will be there and i might enter this sucker into the best camper contest i don't know i'm kind of high and mighty on it right now <laughs> pretty proud of it huge shout out signature solar man they made all this possible I joined their affiliate program and uh, they gave me a discount on all my equipment, which it still was a hefty price tag out of our pocket. No doubt about it. All the Signature Solar team over there has been a great help. They've been really encouraging, really awesome to deal with, man. Like I said, you know, we'll leave links in our description. If you want to check out any Victron equipment, EG4, I mean, they, they carry a whole lot of solar equipment. So appreciate it if you check it out and uh, help our channel out. Till then, man, uh, we're going to wrap this one up right here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, leave me some comments, man. See, tell me what you think about it. We'll talk to y'all later.